In this video, I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways to index your website on Google. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do to get our site indexed by Google is to make sure we're not doing anything that prevents it from getting indexed. From the WordPress dashboard, head on over to Settings and click on the Reading link. Towards the bottom of this page, there's a section that says Search Engine Visibility and a checkbox next to the phrase Discourage Search Engines from Indexing This Site. You definitely want to make sure that checkbox is unchecked. If this is checked, it's basically game over for all of your SEO endeavor. Make sure for some reason this box didn't get checked. If you end up unchecking that, click Save Changes and you're done. Number two. So the second thing we're going to do to make sure our site is indexed by Google is submit our site to the Google Search Console. So from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu item and select General Settings. Up at the top, click on the tab that says Webmaster Tools, and then click on the Google Search Console option. And here's where we're gonna paste in our verification code from the Google Search Console. So I'm gonna head on over to the Google Search Console to show you where to get that verification code. So from Google Search Console, you're going to click Start Now and log yourself into Google if you're not already. From the drop down on the top left of the page, select Add Property. And then you can add your website. Click the Continue button. And then scroll on down to where it says HTML Tag. Click the drop down and then click the Copy button to copy the tag. Now back to our website, we're in the Webmaster Tools tab on the All-in-One SEO General Settings area. Under Google Search Console, we're going to paste in that code we just copied next to where it says Google Verification Code. We're going to click Save Changes. Now back to the Google Search Console under the HTML tag verification method, we're going to click the button that says Verify. And Google will verify that we installed the tag correctly using the AIO SEO plugin. Number three, create an XML sitemap. XML sitemaps link to every single piece of content on your site. So by using an XML sitemap, you are ensuring that the web crawlers like Googlebot can find every single piece of content on your site. By far, the easiest way to create an XML sitemap is just to use the AIO SEO plugin because XML sitemaps are turned on by default as part of the plugin. So from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the all-in-one SEO menu and click on the sitemaps link. Make sure you're on the general sitemap tab up top. And you can ensure that enable sitemap is turned on. If for some reason it isn't, just flip the toggle switch again to turn it on. You can also open the sitemap here to preview what Googlebot and the other web crawlers will see. Don't worry too much about the visual appearance of this sitemap because people won't actually see it. This is only for the web crawlers. Number four, submit your sitemap to Google Search Console. So go up to the address bar here, and we're only going to copy the end of this. So just copy where it says sitemap.xml, and then head on over to the Google Search Console, which I have opened in a new window. And here you're going to see the URL to your site, and you're going to add sitemap.xml. Just paste that in and hit submit you'll get a message that the sitemap was submitted successfully. And that's it. Again, Google should find these automatically, but if you just want to be really sure, you can go manually submit it here in Google Search Console. Number five, optimize your robots.txt file. So head on over to the left again underneath the all-in-one SEO menu and click on Tools. From the Tools section, check the tabs up top and make sure you're on the robots.txt editor. And then scroll on down to the preview section here. We have another video on our channel that goes into this section in detail. I encourage you to check that out, but for now, I'm just going to take a quick glance and make sure that we're not disallowing the whole site and we're just disallowing the admin area. So in this example, this robots.txt file looks great. Number six, another thing you can do to ensure your pages are getting indexed by Google is to check in Google's search console to make sure that you're not accidentally excluding too much of your content with the no index tag. You likely are excluding some of your pages using the no index tag on purpose, but you want to make sure you're not excluding too many pages. So click on the coverage link 
and then click on the Excluded tab. Scroll down and look under Details to where it says Excluded by No Index Tag. And this will bring up a list of the pages that you have excluded by the No Index Tag. In this case, I want this page excluded by No Index, so we're fine. While we're on the subject of No Follow Links, that brings us to number seven, ensuring that internal links from one page on our site to another do not use No Follow Links. So from the WordPress dashboard, I'm going to head on over to the Post section. And I'm going to scroll on down to this schema settings post I have because I know I have an internal link on this post to another page. I'm going to do a quick search for the word recipe. And here I have a link for recipe. Now, if I click on this link in the editor to edit it, if you have the all in one SEO plugin installed, you get this awesome simple option here to add a no follow link or remove a no follow link right here in the WordPress editor. So, with this one, I purposely left it on for this example so I can show you how easy it is to simply click that toggle switch and turn it off. I'm going to close my search box window here, hit update, and you're done. So while we're on the subject of internal links, that brings us to number eight. Make sure you have internal links on your website linking from one page of your content to another. This is a good example here. This post is about schema types. But we also have specific posts about course schema, product schema, recipe schema, software application schema, and FAQ page schema. We have internal links on our website to all of these separate pages. And that brings us to number nine, building backlinks to your site. The entire subject of building backlinks is beyond the scope of this video, but we do have a large blog post about that subject, and I'll link to it in the description below. Here we are on the WPBeginner.com website, and they're doing an article on how to set up all-in-one SEO. We scroll on down the page, we can see right here they have a link where they are linking from WPBeginner to AIOSEO.com. So that's what we want to see when we're talking about backlinks is links on other sites to our site. So those are some quick and easy ways to index your website on Google. If you click on this next video right here, we'll talk about the best WordPress permalink structures for SEO. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful SEO WordPress plugin, All-in-One SEO.